Hey there, folks. Welcome back for day 29 of the 30 Days of Banjo. Today, we're going to look at measures 9 through 12 of Will the Circle Be Unbroken. That sounds like this. So here's what's really interesting about this section. The first two measures we've already played. Check out the first measure of this tune. That's the same as the ninth. Now, check out the third measure of this tune. That's the same as the tenth. There's no particular reason that they're in that place. It just happens to accentuate the melody in the right way. But we've already played that material. So let's just play those back to back. That's a lot of what bluegrass banjo ends up being, is playing a lot of the same material we've already played, just in different places. The more familiar you are with the material, the easier it's going to be to use it in a different context. Now, what's interesting about the next measure, measure 11, is that it's actually more similar to stuff we've already played than you might think. Check it out. It's this. Remember back when we used to play just the pinch patterns and then we introduced the picking pattern that was taking up the same amount of space as the pinch pattern, but just a little different? It would be going from this to this. Well, that's kind of what's happening here. We're playing an individual note, or these two notes, both D. Then instead of a pinch, we're going... Then we're doing the slide lick that we already know. So it's not that different to play this as it is to play this. And it's not like that's some monumental discovery, but that's just kind of how I think about some of these things in terms of memorizing them. After that, we have kind of a nondescript pattern that just follows the melody. So that's index middle, then thumb middle, then thumb thumb. At the end of the day, all that sounds like this. By now, hopefully you're getting more comfortable with the sections we've already looked at, and ideally it'd be really cool if you could play all three of those four measure sections back to back. But if not, that's okay. That's something you can get in time. Just try and keep up with analyzing this stuff and trying to play through it. By the way, the featured banjo player in this lesson is Adam Larrabee. Adam is a great jazz banjo player, jazz guitar player, bluegrass banjo player. He also plays in a band called Love Cannon, which is a really cool band that plays 80s hits with bluegrass instrumentation. And that sounds extra cool the way Adam uses the banjo. So, hope you enjoy the playlist that I have down in the description. Also, if you don't mind, subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for today. I will see you